G'day guys, BJ from Moon and Craft. We're just down the boat ramp here and we've just tested Sam's brand new 233 Formula Platinum. Um, so what we'll do, might show you a few uh, cool features on this boat. It's loaded to the hilt, so there's a lot of real cool new stuff and a lot of first first time things for Eden Craft. So we'll give you a good run down. But the first probably real major thing that's been really cool for this boat is we've gone for this new pod. So we, we did do a version a little while ago, but we refined it. We made it all into one piece. So we've gone ahead and made a new mold and uh, added these dive platforms. So that's, that's really cool. Uh, be good for swimming and things like that too. So, and all as you can see, we've got the big 300 Mercury's, the big 300 Verados. Um, they're in the cool white. Um, yeah, they look really cool. So, got the active midsection. Um, yeah, 600 horsepower. We just water tested it. Went brilliant. We sort of got 52, 53 knots there, pushing it too hard because they're new. So, yeah, real, real happy with that. Run real nice. So, yeah, so the 4.6 litre and they're DTS. So the controls are beautiful, and they come with factory power steering, which is another great feature as well. So, yeah. Come around, we'll show you the other side. So I've seen quite a few times on our boats, it's got the, the swinging removable dive door. Um, also the swingers riggers, been really popular lately, seems to work really nice on our boats. Uh, it's sitting on the easy trailer, it's got all the stainless steel upgrades, the rotating spare. It's got the bra on the front as well, the trailer bra, and it's also got the boat catch. Um, same with all our fit outs now, we have the Lone Star winches, this is no exception, it's got the GX4 with the big 9 kilo plow anchor on it, stainless steel. Uh, what we've done in this boat, it's pretty impressive, it's got a really comprehensive Ray Marine package. Um, so if you come around the front, have a look up on the roof there. We've got the big uh, 4 kilowatt Ray Marine HD colour radar, it's a 24 inch radar. We've also got the Fleur M232 night vision thermal camera, which is a really, really yeah, pretty impressive bit of kit actually. Uh, and also got the, the Go digital spotlights on a little joystick up in the, the hard top there, so you can control each light individually wherever you want them to go. Steel. Uh, so overall, everything's worked as it should, and uh, it's a really nice bit of fit out there. Okay, guys, so we're inside Sam's boat, uh, the weapon. Um, just been out for the water test. Like I said, it was pretty pretty blowy sort of days, if you can tell. So it was a really good test for it. So we've gone over, tested the pumps, done a good water test, made sure we're happy with everything. Um, down the back of the boat here, so Eden Craft bait board you would have seen a few times. Uh, it's got the live bone tank set up. So like I've said before, the pumps are all rule. So the big bilge pump, 3700 gallon rule on a float switch. Also got the, the rule um, live bone tank pumps as well. Uh, down the back here, uh, a couple of like a custom seats, the first for Eden Craft. We've made a bit of a seat here. It folds away, detachable, whatever you like. Um, it suits a good for family boat, kids, whatever you need. A bit more seating options, so that comes in and out nice and easily. So that's, uh, that's real cool as well. We've got dual deck washers. So we've added an underfloor fresh water tank here. So we've got a fresh water outlet on this side and our standard salt water deck washer on this side. Um, the Eden Craft landing post. Um, yeah, a few bikes are starting to get on these. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool though. Pretty functional as well, nice and sturdy. Um, yeah, good for those game fishing days. Um, yeah, real versatile bit of kit. Uh, as you can tell on the, on the rocket launcher here, we do it as standard. We, we let make all the allowances for what's required on the boats. Here we've got dual work lights. We've got the dual aerial set up and then all the, style, all the stuff on the roof, as mentioned before. So with all our twin engine setups, we run Optima blue top batteries. We run primary starting batteries for each engine. And we also run a house battery for the electronics. What we've done in this boat, we've added a fourth battery just for a bit of peace of mind with the with, for the house electronics. We also run beep switches and VSRs and all our boats. So up in the cabin here, I mentioned before, we've got a really, really comprehensive Ray Marine fit out. So what we've got, we've got the Ray Marine Axiom Pro 16 and we've got the Axiom Pro 12. Uh, also got the autopilot system and we've got the Ray Marine uh, VHF as well. Uh, like I said, flare camera on the roof, the radar, the whole kit caboodle. Um, it's running a 175 high wide and it's also running a 17 low via the, one, uh, the 570 chirp transdu uh, transducer module, sounder module. Um, also got the Vessel View 505, uh, all your switches and things like that we need to get it all done. Um, wipers, we've had a wipers to this boat. Uh, pretty functional, obviously your wipers in the hard top, it's pretty cool. And what we've done with the radio, probably a bit annoying in the past, and sometimes we've had the, the handle on the lead flush in your face, so what we've done, we've moved the, the radio down the bottom here, so it's pretty cool as well. Um, all Eden Craft stainless steel, so the foot rest, grab well, all stuff we've done in-house. Um, as I said before, up on the hard top, we've got the digitally controlled spotlight, so it's got the joysticks, all that stuff's pretty neat. Um, what we've done in this boat, we've added cameras, a um, bit of a request here, so we've added 
a camera and anchor wall so we can watch what the drum winch is doing. And we've also got a rear vision camera watching what's happening out the back, so that's also pretty cool as well. As well as having lights for the whole boat, we've got the underwater Ocean LEDX 16. Um, what we've done is we've added two charging points. So we've got the SeaTech 7 in there to charge the, the primary starting battery. So we'll, see, we'll get home, Sam will plug in the SeaTechs, and it'll always have charged to his two primary batteries. So it'll always have starting power. So yeah, that's another little cool addition as well to the boat. It's got USBs, power outlets the whole, the whole way through the boat. Yeah, pretty proud of the fit out. The boys done a really good job. It was a challenge, um, but they've done a really good job. So it's come out real nice. We're gonna deliver this boat next week up to Sydney and um, I'm sure Sam will be very happy with his boat.